Hey, it's Bernie Tusco, founder of Fret Guru, where I teach guitarists, professional luthiers, and aspiring guitar beings how to create more tone, playability, and all-around mojo from your guitars, and hook you up with the innovative tools to do it better. Now, I get a ton of questions from around the world on how to create the best guitar performance and playability, and these questions can be all over the map, often focusing on a specific technique or how to, how to best approach a guitar repair challenge or setup issue. And that stuff's all second nature, but there was this one question recently that just it blindsided me in its simplicity, and it was this. If I could give one piece of advice to any guitarist or luthier of any skill level, what would that be? Well, the only way I could figure out how to answer this was to see if there was a common thread to many of the past questions I've received. And then it occurred to me, an underlying challenge in many of the questions was a difficulty in accurately evaluating and reading a guitar before figuring out what it needed or what it was that was holding it back. And there was a similar inability to accurately measure the guitar settings when trying to zero in on your guitar's ideal setup. Let me make an analogy to bring some perspective to this. Would it be fair to say that most any guitarist with above beginner experience can tell the difference between a set of 9s and 10s on electric or 12s and 13s on an acoustic? So follow me here. If an above beginner guitarist can tell a 1,000th of an inch difference between a 9 string and a 10 string, what are you still doing measuring in 64ths? I've found that the difference between a string buzzing on a certain note or not can often be the difference of only one or two thousandths in relief, roll off, nut slot depth, or an inconsistency of the height of the frets. So bottom line, if you want better results, you're going to have to use more accurate measurements. Next level guitar performance comes from pushing these limits, but you've got to know where these limits are first. Rewind to the original question that I got, as I sat down at the computer to write an answer, I thought, should I just be writing an answer telling this person what I think they should do, or is there a way I can step up and actually create a solution here? And what I came up with just snowballed from there and it got me completely inspired. When you see what's had me staying up almost round the clock ever since, I think you're going to be blown away. It's pretty amazing and cool and, and game changing, really. So keep an eye out for the next video where I'll let you in on what I've been up to. Till then, shred responsibly, or pick responsibly if that's your style. When you woke up this morning, everything was gone by half past ten. Your head just going ding dong, ringing like some bell from your head down to your toes. Like some boys trying to tell you there's something you should know Last night you was flying but today you're so low Times like these makes you wonder if you'll ever know Meaning how things as they appear to the others Wives, husbands,